whose phone kept going mine, off? Mine, mine, mine. I don't know. Kimo keeps texting me. <laughs> <laughs> Kimo's sitting right here. Welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. How's it going? You got Lanai, and that's Brooke Lee. Hi. Please don't get us confused. Ever. We have a very special guest on the show. Uh, we have known him since he was. Uh, people You're, are probably tired of you saying this, huh? You've known, like, you've known him since in he was utero, a baby. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> you too, right? No, I met when him first when made... he was in his like full blown like ten. Yeah, <laughs> maybe like seven 20, or eight. Ten year, seven yeah, or eight. Twelve maybe? years ago, thirteen years ago. Seven yeah. or eight. He's a uh, singer songwriter. He's an actor. He's just an amazing kid, ladies and gentlemen. Aiden. James, what how do, what what name do you go by? Well, I go by Lepret. Aiden Lepret now. But Aiden Lepret, come on, give no, 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 it's just Lepret. Just Lepret. Well, right? It's, it's, uh, yeah, I don't really know to be honest. <laughs> it's like kind of <laughs> just uh, doing whatever. I, I release music under Lepret, Lepret, but now it's like okay. I guess my name is just Aiden Lepret. Yeah. yeah. All right, I like Lepret. Lepret sounds very French. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. And it sounds like your parents' name. We're not supposed to talk about it. I know. That. I just said. I just said. It sounds like. Your How mom, are you, brother? Your mom sent us a text message. She said, well, "No, it's all good. We can talk about anything." No, she um, said, "Don't talk about them." So we're not gonna. We're talk uh, about them. we're very proud of you, Aiden. I haven't talked to you in a long time, but very proud of everything you're doing. Oh, thanks, man. Thank yeah. you, guys. I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. When did you de- When did you decide that you were gonna flip and um, I'm gonna be an actor? Um, well, I've been acting for the actually longer than I've been making music, but I've just been focused on music for a long time. You know, both of my parents are in film and TV business. So uh, I kind of grew up around the set and, uh, you know, I I feel like I've kind of found the love for it, like the behind the scenes aspect of it. And then I knew I wanted to do something in that field as well as music. And uh, yeah, when I moved to LA, when I was 16, I kind of really started diving into it more i would say and, and found a love for it yeah what was the first gig you got acting oh um i think i was like 18 months i played like a drug baby on that in a pilot <laughs> why did you Did'd have you really? to save the drug part played a baby it just sounds more interesting I it, guess. Does, it does it does okay fair, right. baby. fair yeah that sounds that sounds cool and and then yeah. and then you just finished. Are you still in doing a, a show right now in Australia? Um, yeah, we, uh, last year um, I shot a show called The Wilds um, in Australia. I was there for six months, and uh, it just came out like uh, more a little more than a month ago in uh-huh. uh, in May. Yeah, T- tell us what the show's about and who do you play. It's about so The Wilds is about um, a group of girls who find themselves on a deserted island their plane crashes and uh they have to survive and you quickly realize that there's more to the story and and uh it's not really a spoiler because the whole premise of the show is is like this experiment that's going on and uh basically in the second season a group of boys uh go through the same exact thing and uh, i'm a part of that group my character's called henry tanaka Uh and he is uh He's an emo reclusive kid, um, very much to himself, um, and also very smart. And um, he was a Boy Scout in his past life, so he has all this knowledge to, you know, help survive. And all, all the boys and all the girls and boys kind of have their own personality, and, and everyone is so different from each other. So it's kind of cool to see those personalities clash, you know. Nice. So the first season, because yeah. you guys are season two. Season one was all girls surviving. And then that ended and season two is all boys, but the girls and the boys aren't together, correct? No. Yeah. So yeah. the, f- Oh, the, what a it's, bummer. It's con- <laughs> I was thinking that would be a good yeah, movie no, no, too, no, no. right? It's a, it's like their, your version, the boys, it's not Lord of the flies, but like you guys are boys doing the same thing. The girls did in season one, just, just boy stuff. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The girls story also continues. Um, and, uh, because you know, it's their show. So it's, uh, the show continues, following their um their storylines and uh and then the yeah the boys are also a part of it now where they're on a different island different island through, though, right? oh i see yeah. what what yeah. platform can everybody watch it on it's on amazon prime video ironic nice. isn't it ironic really when you yeah. think about 
his yes. parental units, but whatever, it's cool. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. Good for you. And and do you uh did he get picked up for another season? I don't know. Oh, dun, we don't know dun, yet. Dun. We're supposed to we're supposed to find out soon. So dun, I, dun, I hopefully dun. by the time this comes out, um, we'll know if it's if it's going or not. But you, be, you kind of get you, awesome. you kind of get your vibe, right? How, how did it go? You, you know, did, did you? Get, what do you think? You guys shot in the midst of the pandemic, pandemic correct? Right? You yeah, were, but there was no COVID in, in yeah, Australia. Yeah, in the show. But so. like you guys were physically like in it to win it. Yeah, you guys I was were saying there. there's no COVID in Australia. So we were, when we got there, like, they really have it locked down. So I'm like sorry, when wait, we what? got there. Was, yeah. Yeah. This, we, we shot in, we, we went in uh, March of 2021 and uh, we did like Bless a quarantine. You. Bless you. We did Thank a you. quarantine and... Uh, for 14 days and then we yeah we got out and there was no covid so huh. that one huh in that it's country crazy. yeah so because america we're all like you know brats we don't okay. want to follow the rules anyway we got to take a quick break <laughs> gonna even touch it aiden is hanging out with us don't go anywhere it's a hawaii thing bringing you what matters viewers can receive the star advertiser digital full access subscription for just 9.95 per month go to StarAdvertiser.com and click on subscribe use the code a h i thing Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing, talking with Aiden LaPrette here, uh, talking TV shows and movies and stuff like that. Shot in Australia. It's called The Wild, wild One. Or oh, The Wild. The Wild. The Wild. <laughs> yeah. It's called The Wild. And it just came out. Your season just started, right? Yeah, season two. Yeah, it came out uh, in May. May yeah, 6th. Go, go watch it on Amazon. Now, you, uh, you, what do you have next? Do you have anything lined up for acting? Um, I shot a show when I came back from Australia, um, the second season of the show called Chad. Um, it's on, it's on TBS, HBO Max, um, with this, the, the person who created it is amazing. Uh, her name's Nassim Pedrad. She is, um, she's just incredible. It's her, it's her show and she plays a 13 year old, um, boy in high school and, uh, basically, uh, yeah, I shot two episodes of that, and it was really fun. And um, I shot the first season. I shot an episode in the, of the first season in Portland. Oh, so you're back for two season years two. Ago. Nice. They brought me back, which is nice. really nice. Wait yeah. a minute. She played a boy. Is this like that old movie? Remember that movie where she, uh, she wanted to make – she played a boy on the soccer team? And she did Ben really like well. Beckham? I, it is, is kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah, I do know what movie you're talking about. I think Amanda Bynes is in that Yes, movie. Amanda um, Bynes. Oh, it's about yeah. it's a boy. It's she was about so a boy. Cute. It's yeah. about a boy. Yeah, it's about did she's I get the, the man. name right? She's, oh, the, she's man. the man. She's the man. Yes. Yeah. So it's a similar to that, the concept? I guess, yeah, it's kind of like that. It's very much, I mean, she's she's very much talking about her own personal life, I feel like, in high school. And uh, she plays herself, and it's so funny. It's very, like, deadpan and uh, kind of straight to the point. And it's, it's yeah. really great. So how does this work? Because we're not supposed to talk about your parents, so we're not going to talk about your parents. You're talking about my parents. You're talking about my parents. <laughs> it's all good. Like, like, do you, like, do you get insider calls or like is it, are you on the treadmill are you with always on doing auditions is the agent um, sending you stuff or do you get insider information because of who no. your parents are or how does it work i don't get i mean who are my parents, <laughs> <laughs> my parents obviously i mean uh yeah no i don't get any insider training my my, my uh my mom, you know, my mom, my parents have been super supportive um, mm. of my career all my yeah. life, which has been amazing. And, but, you know, my parents don't, they don't work for me or, you know, anything like that. Right. Like my, my, my mom hasn't been uh, my manager, you know, for a long time. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, auditioning It's the normal acting stuff. I'm, right, you know, right, right. Doing the doing yeah whatever the agent sends because she or, was uh, just to be clear not to talk about you angie because we're not talking about you but what are you, you talking were, about my mom? You, <laughs> she was your manager when you guys moved from hawaii to los angeles and we were all broken hearted except for us that were living in la at the time we were welcoming you with open arms but when you guys made the jump to la she just stopped she wasn't producing stuff here anymore she was your manager for a little bit right like yeah, straight she was up, my, that my was her on music. her card. That was on her business card. She was your momager. Uh, sure. She's my momager. Yeah, yeah, for um, for my music. Yeah. Um, she was always yeah. She was my my manager for for music for a bit. But shortly after we moved to LA, and you know, I was getting, 
older and you know i was 16 and uh there was just you know feeling like you know you want to you want to kind of take control of your of what you you know you want to do but my parents have always kind of let me do you know what i want to do in in music and acting and um yeah so so i mean it was kind of a easy transition to kind of just you know do it on my own and find like a team that i really like love right. and um, for the young actor with. for the yeah. young actors or guys who want to be actors are you tell them what is your like do you take acting classes are you still involved in that type of thing or you just go auditions every day how does it work for you yeah i mean you know i'm always learning i mean i think the the, the best thing about getting to go work and like get get to shoot the wilds like it was like you know i just learned every day and, and that was the first time i was able to to grow with a character and you know it's my first series regular and i've been acting for you know 10 plus years so um you know that was my first uh series regular on a, on a show and um you know i just learned a lot and obviously yeah i auditioned quite a bit probably like three times a week and um yeah kind of just you know keep keep learning and uh just do your thing you know well, he got really close like. when we had Jeff Yang on the show. Remember Jeff? Yeah. From, with the Asian pop. Uh -huh. His son, Hudson. Right. They got, they, they were in Last Calls. It was Asian. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, oh, yeah. We, we talked about that. I mean, they we? were, it was like that, like razor thin, that close. Oh, was Jeff yeah. on the show? Yeah, yeah, Jeff came on the show oh, last nice. season. Yeah. about Talking about their uh, book that they had just released. We haven't gotten Jeff, we haven't had his son on yet, but. What was his son's name? Hudson. Oh, that's right. Hudson. Yeah. Awesome. yeah, I, I, yeah, Jeff. I haven't talked to them in a long time, but that, yeah, it's true. I, I mean, that's not like public knowledge, but right. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it was like back when Fresh Off the Boat was casting. Um, that was like one of the first experiences where I flew to LA. I was still in Hawaii at the time, and I flew mm -hmm. to LA and um, Fresh Off the Boat. That's what it was. We got to take a quick little break. Don't go anywhere. Aiden hanging out with us. It's a Hawaii thing. We'll be right back. For all your money needs, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union is here for you. Visit HiFiCU.com. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. We're hanging out with Aiden LaPrette talking about his acting career. What do you like most? Might be a tough question for you. I'm sure you love both. Would you rather become a huge singer or a huge actor? Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if huge is the word for it. I mean, there's a lot of like... A successful goals that I want it. Yeah, I guess in my in what I think is successful. I mean, you know, I have goals in in both fields that I both want to fulfill. But I also believe in like taking time in in all fields that you want to pursue. And like one of my inspirations is like Donald Glover or Childish Gambino, who like does everything, and he's just as good in every um, yeah everything that he does. You know, Renaissance so, man. Yeah. Yeah. And have have you been working on the singing? Um, yeah, yeah, I've been I've been doing a lot of music. I've been uh, producing majority recently um, for other artists, and uh, kind of been focusing on that for a bit. And uh, kind of back on my own music, and um, I'm about to go on tour in in August actually, and really? play some shows. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, opening for my friend Modest Yahoo. Um, oh, my who, friend uh, Modest Yahoo! Did excuse you just me. Loki just dropped that name <laughs> just now. Yeah. Loki dropped that name right now. I love Modest Yahoo. That's hilarious. He's, yeah, he's a great. Um, the, I, I I had the opportunity to work with him like four years ago, and he was one of the first people to believe in me as a producer and flew me to New York, and like I just stayed with him for like two weeks, and we just made music, and then we've kind of like created this friendship and uh he had me open for him at the at, in la like um like last year and uh yeah so yeah he, he so yeah i'll be going on tour we'll be going to like minneapolis chicago um detroit i hope you're doing hawaii places. because i know he's done hawaii a few times yeah it's only it's like only like it's only like continental i yeah. guess yeah yeah it's like it's only like five dates, but um, yeah, we're gonna be talking about that. He's releasing, the guy. He's the one. Soon. He does reggae, correct? Yeah. Like, but he, he's Jewish, yes, right? Yes. Yes. He's yes. the one. He was in Maui. He yeah. saw the kid who was playing the music, uh, yeah. and it was his. And yeah. so then he flew him out. Me and Augie interviewed him a couple of times. I think. But he's not he's from here, to, uh, really? obviously. No, he's, he's not. Jewish. But we broke his music on uh, Island 98.5. Oh, really? Yeah. Because it's got what reggae roots. Uh huh. Got it. 
Does he do yeah. other ty- he does other types of music though, doesn't he? I wouldn't even consider him reggae, reggae. anymore right, to be right. honest. He's yeah. very like alternative based yeah. uh mixed with like reggae influences and uh the music we made was very like alternative pop like um hip hop vibes. Really? And, yeah. When does the tour start? I want to go watch one of these shows. Yeah, it starts on we leave on August 11th. Um and yeah, it's only we're only doing like five dates. The the tour is like I think like 15 dates or something like that, but um Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing five. Good for you, man. Tell everybody remind Thanks. everybody again how long you've been playing you cuz you started out on ukulele here. You were like known as the little ukulele kid, right? Am I making this up? I'm not making this up. <laughs> In your um, mind. How, how old were you when you started performing? Um, I was, uh, I started playing ukulele when I was four. Um, but I, as I was learning ukulele, I started doing like the ukulele festivals. And uh, I guess like when I was eight was when I really started getting into it. And, and uh, I had the opportunity to tour and, and play a lot of shows in my yeah in my childhood which is right. really because he, he literally like cool. that was I mean, he wasn't makana because makana was like the kiho alu kid yeah but like he was he, he was performing everywhere right well you also with a bunch of big names too yeah and then you went on tour with train like let's train, yes. drop that name real quick um <laughs> so yeah because that's i think when i first met you when you were eight ouch that hurts to say <laughs> that's crazy right uh, yeah it's good boy. yeah you talk to hawaii people and they all say that to you huh oh my gosh but so i big. also remember because i'm a kupuna I, when bruno mars was a baby and playing yeah. elvis at the dome so yeah. there's that so yeah yeah so what about you you putting on an album together um no (laughs) i'm just like just like going with the flow you know i've been like just making music um i think i'll put out a song before the before the um the tour starts and uh kind of you know push that and um kind of see what comes along you do you have a a bunch of songs already produced or do you have like tracks or songs written or well let uh, think about that. We'll take a quick break and uh, give us the answer. We'll be right back hanging out with Aiden LaPrette. It's a Hawaii thing. Long's Drugs is always here for Hawaii, providing your family with their local favorites, accessible health and wellness services to keep you safe and healthy. Make Long's a part of your day. Homeworld, locally owned and quality brands. Let us help you create your perfect home. Beachside Roofing, the leaders. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. We're hanging out with Aiden LaPrette. We're talking about his music. Do you have a bunch of songs that are in the can? Uh, you have some written, to produce. How does it go for you? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I make music all the time. I'm, I'm constantly just, you know, I'm, I'm in my um, my little studio at home. Uh, just, uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm just always in here. Usually we're like my writing partner, Misha, and we're just like making music and uh yeah, I have a lot of like a lot of demos that aren't finished and probably will never be finished. I kind of just keep moving on to like more music until I'm like, okay, cool, this one's cool. And um, yeah, so so yeah, I have a few that are like I'm pretty happy with that I'm probably gonna finish soon and yeah. um, try to put those out. You have like the Prince archives. There's <laughs> a million <laughs> songs in there, and none of them are you're satisfied with. Huh? Do you yeah, write lyrics Prince, but... first, or do you write melodies first? I do melodies. I'm, I'm like, oh, well, because I'm a producer. Um, I usually make the music first, and then I do like melody takes over it, um, which is where I basically just like talk gibberish, but like I'm singing the the, yeah. the melodies um, over the the music, and then and then I end up like having my friend Misha come in, and we usually write like the lyrics together, and then um, yeah, and then just. How so how often how often do you come up with something new? Like, are you sitting around and you're driving and you go, oh, I got to do this one, and you, then what do you do? You write it, you hum it, you do it in your phone. I'm always intrigued by yeah. how artists come up with this stuff. All of the above, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of if I if anything pops into my my uh, my head over here, uh, <laughs> I will just uh, yeah, I just bring out my phone, and just voice memo or. Uh, or if I'm in the in at home, then I'll just you know record something and uh, kind of have the ideas there, you know. Nice. How uh, old yeah. is Aya now? Aya is four, fifteen. Yeah. Is she into the arts too? 
That's your sister she's from a, Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. that's like my sister. Them. Yeah, is she into yeah. the arts too? She's a she's a pretty great dancer. Um, yeah. So yeah, she's been dancing for a bit. I mean, she was doing hula in Hawaii for a long time. And but now then, she's um, competitive. They're like competitive dancing now, right? With the she's yeah. Kind of time. Do you get calls? Are or are you doing auditions for any of the Hawaii shows? Yeah. Have what up, bro? Any? Don't you know people? Uh, for Hi, Hawaii yeah. shows. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, hey. I mean, Rachel Sutton is the first. Yeah casting director i've ever worked with uh, in my life i'm pretty sure so Mine too. i mean she's she's the best and like it, it's uh she you know she's really helped me over the years being in hawaii and you know trying to find myself as an actor and uh yeah so i mean i actually haven't auditioned for for anything in hawaii recently but um you know so many things coming we know people we should talk to people yeah like your mom <laughs> Hi. You know, We're it's funny that people don't people don't realize like my like when you're like in that position but in the behind the scenes position, you can't necessarily like just get someone on of the course. show. You of know, course. like of course, like, that's like she's angie laprit she can do whatever she wants <laughs> well we gotta we're gonna go to the extended version of this uh, interview but we gotta give our, you stuff our youtube channel uh go subscribe and hit us up but we got some nice parting gifts we for have you, some Aiden. adt's for shirts Let's for go. you because we know you don't have yeah. enough adt's but you know lukey says hi she loves you yeah uh, this is our uh signature shirt it's from, a hawaii thing, it's a hawaii new thing. yeah we got you because you're going to be legal. We got you some uh, Old Pully Road whiskey, but they also made some chocolate oh, wow. of it. So that's coming your way because you're legal now. Uh, we also got you some pigeon emoji. So you can fortune practice cookies. your Amazing. fortune cookies with your pigeon. Nice. Bougie bottle. We're sending you a water bottle from oh my Bougie God. Bottle. Your mom. So you and your mom will have matching ones. We Sweet. have Hawaiian Chip Company sending you taro a chips. bunch of taro chips, different flavors. Um, what else did I forget? Oh, uh, macadamia nuts. Oh no, I don't have it in here. But yeah, we have the many Hooney Max. And I'm gonna send you some oh liquor. God. Aiden, tell everybody Thanks, where they can guys. follow you on Max, social yeah. media. What is your handles? Uh, my handle is Aiden Lepret. A I D A N Lepret. Um, on basically Instagram everything. and right. Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you follow us. Instagram and Twitter, yeah. Aiden, we're so proud of you, brother. We'll see you soon. We're gonna get him to swear. Check out the extended on version YouTube. on YouTube. Thank you guys so much He's for watching. Swear. It's a Hawaii thing. We'll see you next time. Ahui ho. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing, the extended version. Please leave us a comment and hit that little bell so you can subscribe to our channel. Every week we have a new episode. And Aiden can swear. Aiden Lapret is hanging out with us, the actor, singer. Aiden, what else do you do when you're not acting or singing? What do you like to do? He knits. No. <laughs> I like to, yeah, not knit. I love, um, I love, uh, I love clothes. So like, do you designing something as I, I want to get into that? No sure. way. What, what, have you designed anything yet? I uh, no, but uh, maybe in the future, you, you know, you have it here. Um, yeah. Yeah. I love like, I just love, I appreciate like clothing and fashion and, uh, stuff like that. And I love, uh, I love, you know, filmmaking. Like I want to get, get back. I used to make like little short films when I was a kid and they were so bad, but like, <laughs> Obviously, you, start. Yes. you know, you start somewhere and like I just um, got a camera. So, yeah, I think I'm going to start going back into that and, and maybe put them up on my Instagram or something, you know. Good for you. And then is there yeah. something what do you do when you like to chill? Uh, do you go shopping, you know, like I go shopping. People think I'm yeah. crazy, but did I tell yeah. you that? What? My new my new that chill new thing obsession is, is shopping. Right. Yeah, like, like a shopping is great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, me too. Um, I love shopping. I love uh, hanging out with my friends. My, my best friend, he lives in Atlanta, so I don't really see him that often. But, uh, but you know, I'm usually talking to him or uh, hanging out with my friends or, you know, making music. I mean, my whenever I'm not doing one thing, I'm kind of doing, trying to do like the other thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's cool, man. You have, yeah. You, uh, when you write, you... you uh... Because I haven't heard any of your original stuff. Do you write heartache, love? What do you write? I don't understand. Isn't all his stuff original stuff? Well, I haven't heard him since he was... It's been 10 years since I've heard oh. you play. That's crazy, game. man. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I kind of write with everything. I mean, I've been writing since I was like 13. You know, before that, I was just playing covers. And yeah, whenever I'd play live, I would just play covers. But um, yeah, I... Uh, 
when I, when I was a kid, I mean, when I was like 13, when I started writing, I'd kind of just pull from nothing because I didn't necessarily have, you know, love experiences when I was 13 or <laughs> right. 14. Didn't you though? Um, no. <laughs> I, had a, I had a girlfriend when I was like 13. Yeah. But I mean, I don't think, you know, it was, I mean, I don't know. Any, Anyways, it wasn't really, I mean, maybe it was something I pulled from when I was writing at that age, probably. But um, yeah, I mean, I think... Uh, I would pull from uh, real stuff. I, I got the opportunity to write with a lot of great writers and um, I learned a lot and, and kind of just uh, on, on how to like make things up, but also like come off authentic. And um, now, you know, where I am now, like a, a, as a 20 year old, I, I, you know, I write about everything. I mean, yeah, I write about yeah. traveling, just, you know, where's your favorite, where's your favorite like, place, favorite place to travel? Japan. Mine um, too. He's like, yes. he didn't even pause. He yeah. was just like, and it's Japan. Japan is the best place in the world. I yeah. mean, you know I what? You know what's so funny? I almost saw you in Japan. This was a while oh, really? ago. I was text. I was texting with your mom and dad. And they're like, hey, we need some places to eat in Japan or something like that. And then I said, I'm in Japan. And they're like, where are you? <laughs> and then we and then we try to hook up with it. We missed each other like by a couple days. Ah, uh, because that, I had like yeah. a group with me. And anyway, we were all in Japan at the same time. Wow, I think you were with I didn't know that. Yeah. But was, yeah, if I was in my, I actually went last time I went to Japan was when I just turned 18 and I went with two of my best friends. And it was the first trip where I uh, where I like went on a trip by myself, you know, and that was really fun. And, I think I went for like three weeks and uh, yeah, it was the best. What a world, huh? It's its own Dude, world. Japan's the best. Yeah, yeah. it's like no, nothing like Japan. Yeah. Um, I'm still wrapping but, my head uh, around the fact that your mom let you go to Japan by yourself at 18. There's like, no I, crime. There's kids well, catching the bus at I'm four. I'm not worried about death. You know? I'm worried about death. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, I was, yeah, I'm 18, adult. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Aiden was 13 right. and he was 18 already. Uh, uh, you know okay. what I mean? You're, you're like um, an old I soul. I need to talk about the uh, the glasses for a second because so I heard glasses. you did like a big campaign with LAI Works. That's kind of a big yeah. campaign. Yeah, no, yeah, it was fun. Yeah, LAI Works is a is a uh, is an eyeglass uh, company in Los Angeles, based in LA, and uh, they're they're amazing. I uh, I started wearing their I I wear when I was when when I moved to LA and mm -hmm. uh, yeah I wore like my first pair for like four years and, and ended up wearing th that pair in the show um, in the wilds and oh, cool. uh, now I have now I'm wearing these pairs I've been wearing these for like uh, the past year I would say. But that's but, that's um, kind of your that's part of your uh, uh, your theme that's your part of your, your look, yeah your look your brand if you will the yeah. black the black frames. <laughs> Right, the black, yeah, small. the black oversized frames on my face. Yeah, when I, when I like take off my glasses now, like I don't look like a. I You're don't like Clark look like Kent. Myself. You're like Clark Kent and Superman. Nobody knows. Yes. Yeah, you take your glasses yes. off. Yeah, yeah. No, and now are they real glasses? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. How, ba cannot, how bad is your cannot, eyesight, Aiden? <laughs> my eyesight is bad, man. I, I cannot see anything. Like I can see. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. I, it's bad. What's your uh, What's the one thing you miss about Hawaii? Uh, I miss my grandmother who I grew up with, oh. uh, my whole life. Um, and yeah, I just saw her like a couple of weeks ago. She came to, to LA and she's 92 now. So, but she wow. still is like, she still drives. She still goes to Madukai yeah. and, and right. you know, any, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, I miss her chicken katsu and I miss zippies to that. Yeah, yeah, there you go. They're opening one in Vegas, so you three can go. Three of them. Are they? Yeah, three so you of them. can oh my just God. go drive over the line if you yeah. really, if you're hard cr up. That's crazy. And yeah, yeah, you get a zip pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. should come up with a new Zippy's jingle. Ooh. <laughs> you a Zippy's jingle? I'll get it to the right person. And then you'll yeah. have free Zippy's for the yeah. rest of your life. <laughs> I have free Zippy's. Are they going to ship it to me? Oh, actually, Vegas. <laughs> they do. They, go to Vegas. They, they do ship too. Now for they'll just give, they you a special, they'll give you a special card like Lanai has. And then whenever you walk into a Zippy's in Vegas, they'll just have it. <laughs> Seriously? They'll have it waiting Lanai, for you. Lanai, you got a free, you got a free Zippy's card? <laughs> hey, well, it's not free. I got to do some work. You know what I mean? <laughs> when you call them, I'm the, I'm the guy who answers. Yeah. Right. Um, but so Zippy's Chili and Grandma, that's cool. Have, have you taught Grandma how to use FaceTime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm on Isn't FaceTime. Isn't it hilarious? Her a lot. <laughs> I taught my mom, yeah. and she's like, "I can't see you." I said, "You got to turn the phone around." She goes, "How are you <laughs> going to see me?" 
Like she doesn't know that you can, uh, you know, you, you can look at the, the screen. Yeah. Yeah, 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 the whole thing is it's pretty funny. Thing. She so always, now, I always see her ear when, when. Yeah, she yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. She's like, I can't see you. That's adorable. <laughs> they don't know how to work it out. So when, yeah. when are you uh, coming back to Hawaii? Have you come back lately? Uh, I have not been back since. Um, you know, it's funny. This is something I haven't said. I haven't told. I guess when I when I uh, auditioned for the Wilds in January of 2021, um, it was like a month long process. And then at the end of February, um, found out we were going to go to Australia. I was going to go to Australia in like a week. So I was like, nice. And then I go to check my passport and I realized my passport's going to expire in a month. Whoops. So I uh, was like looking all online, but because of COVID, like all like the rush, yeah. my passport places were all closed. So the one place that had an, a passport agency appointment was Honolulu. Why so I, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why yeah, and I was like, I forgot where it was, but yeah, I mean, I booked the appointment and I hopped on a plane the next day. And, nice. Uh, and just yeah, went to Hawaii and you're lucky know, because grandma. you because passports is you have to get a three months it, it can't be expired within three month window. But I guess because of the pandemic they excuse that. But yeah. I've been I've yeah. been stuck with oh the passport. Yeah, situation. like I made it in within one day. Wow. Like I didn't check it and it was like oh uh, shoot it's expired. Um, but anyway, yeah, you like you got lucky. I that would one. think that they would do that for you on productions. It was like it was all really crazy because of covid like oh, it was right. like really nothing hard was to real do anything yeah. um so when you went yeah. not to talk about your parents because we're not supposed to talk about them <laughs> no but... I said, we can talk about we can talk about anything did your did your did someone go with you to australia i mean i know you're a, a brooke he's adult. an adult already i know but like if I, Aiden, you can't if, go to japan by if yourself if i'm your you parent and you book yourself. something in oh, australia good. you bet you bippy i'm Jesus going with you Christ. because he's you're a, going to australia he's a grown man i don't Care, um, I'm your parent. I'm going with you. It's a, no, hey, my, my parents have you know have traveled with me through all my when when I was you know traveling as a kid. So I, understandable. Yeah, did, no, no, my parents did not go with me um, to Australia. I went by myself. Are you bummed? And they, they yeah. couldn't even visit me because oh, of because COVID, of the yeah. Yeah. Australia was like closed yeah, 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 down. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah. it was the best. It was you know it was like my college. Um, I didn't go to college, so it was like, you know, it was like <laughs> this my college. This is the closest thing I kinda to a know, college experience. I kind of know he's a little irritated now because the way my aunts and uncles I haven't seen for a while, they'll be like, oh, my gosh, I used to change your pampers or whatever. I'm like, Jesus Christ, why would you? It's so long time ago. <laughs> Every, <laughs> everyone's telling you. It's oh, not it. that long ago. He's only 20. It's well, it is kind of a long time ago. It's not that long. You're like 50. There's a big difference. <laughs> and you are too. I, but I'm not the one complaining. I'm just saying. It's no, you're com you're complaining. You're not complaining, but you're worried that because he can't travel by himself. No, it's He's not that he can't man. travel by himself. I'm just saying, like, if I were, if I got baby Thank God that's on not your parent, huh? When she's 18 and they're like, <laughs> we're going to Scandinavia to shoot this movie. I, I would go with yeah. her. I don't care if she's a doe. It's a free trip to that country and I got a free place to stay. I'm going. You're I think more now worried. since I'm eight, since I'm over eighteen, like that's not even something you could put in like a <laughs> yeah. contract anymore. It's like, uh, yeah. As an adult, she's actually the price. She can do what she wants. Yeah, I'm making t-shirts. <laughs> and who's your favorite actor, Aiden? My favorite actor is probably. Uh, hmm, that's hard. Robert Pattinson's really cool. Oh, nice. um, I, I just watched this movie called Good Time that he's in. That's like amazing i can't um, picture him what was he in what else was the he twilight in? guy well, he's bro. known as like the twilight oh, guy yeah yeah yeah, but, um, yeah. cedric like diggory a, if you're like glitter. a harry he potter he has fan. glitter on his face i've actually never watched twilight but he he's done like these like art house films yeah he's a great recently movies. yeah and uh, he has like a great like you know catalog of work i love like lakeith stanfield who's um oh nice he was in get out and uh, I just watched this movie called so Sorry to Bother You that's really uh, amazing, too. And, um, yeah, I love uh, also, like, Anya Taylor-Joy is really, you know, brilliant. Ooh, and uh, I love, uh, who else? Anna Dr. Maz. I, I just saw her. Uh, I'm so bad with names. Quirky. No, like, he, I mean, but the names he's saying are, like, they're on yeah. the fringe of breaking out. They're right, not, right. like, the center people. They're, like... Right. They're, they're like character. Pop culture yet. They're character. They're big. Anna, yeah. They're big people, but they're not like you know Julia Roberts. Right. Have you? Or, have you? Know. What's the last thing you watch that you got into on Netflix? Oh man. That's how he said Netflix. Um, Weird, right? What happened? Because it's so popular right now. Mm -hmm. um, or that his dad I, I watched. I didn't uh, talk about it. What did I watch on Netflix? 
That's you watch art. Peaky Blinders? You better say something. I have not watched your dad Peaky Blinders, on... but How about I Ozark? love Cillian Murphy. Um, no, I, I love Ozark. I haven't watched the new season. You know what I've watched recently is Barry on HBO Max. <gasps> oh, yeah. Really Barry, that. is that good? Barry's yeah, good. It's I gotta watch amazing. You gonna Barry, that's in my like, Better Call Saul is really great. Oh, that's a great show. Better that. Call Saul. I don't get that one. Great show. This Barry is, is good, though. Uh, yeah. Because Fonzie's in it. Uh -huh. be who, who is the uh, actor's name again from uh, the lead actor from Peaky Blinders you just mentioned? Cillian Murphy. He is a he's amazing. Oh, is that yeah, he's one of my great. yeah. See, oh. I always say it wrong. I say it wrong too. I okay. say it wrong all the time, but I said it correctly. Yeah. Yeah. I, I Cillian Murphy. Yeah. What a so, great yeah. actor. He. I just saw his zombie movie that he did in like the two thousands. It's like really like he did crazy. a zombie movie. Yeah, wow. it was like the kind of zombies. I don't. I don't know. Um, Danny Boyle directed it. Um, oh well. Danny I was watching Boyle. his show, his new show, Pistol on FX. Um, about the Sex Pistols. Um, oh, the Sex Pistols. Yeah, they were a group, singing group. Yeah. So now they have a You make a them show, sound like yeah. they're the Mormon Tabernacle they're like the, Choir. Uh, <laughs> they were no, a rock. They were a punk band. This guy's the only punk band I know. Really? Yeah, I don't really know punk. I'm not a punk guy. Okay. Yeah. Is Devo punk? No. <laughs> not really. <laughs> Black Kinda. Flag. Black Flag. I know Black Flag. Okay. They were punk, right? I guess. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Kupuna. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, go watch Peaky Blinders. Think you're like yeah, it. I gotta watch Peaky Blinders. I heard it's really good. I gotta yes. watch like um, Ozark. Uh, what's, uh, Ozark's really good. I, I watch Ozark. Um, I, I heard Brooke saying that she doesn't get Better Call Saul. I don't. But are it. you are you a Breaking Bad fan? No. Breaking. Oh Bad? my god! You never watch That's Breaking crazy. Bad. Wait, you never watch Breaking Which Bad. is weird because my whole family watches. I mean, my husband's a, a lunatic, but he watches it. My son watches it. Yeah. They all love you all of that. You let your son watch it? Of course. Who, cool. who do you think we are? Good parents? Um, <laughs> son of Anarchy. They love all of that stuff. I just don't get it. I'm from Pearl City. Like, come on. Sons of Anarchy is like, awesome, I too. I can't. It's just too much. Y work. Have you watched Yellowstone? Uh, no, I have not. It's too, many people, watch bro. too many white people, bro. Um, I watched straight. a show called The Wild on, on <laughs> video. There you go. <laughs> I just see his mom yes. off camera going, plug the wild. <laughs> Amazon the wild. Plus, and you can watch the first season on, no. Can you watch the first season anywhere? You can watch the first, yeah. Watch Amazon the first Prime, watch, Prime, by the way, watch, not Prime. Plus. Amazon Prime, they call it Prime Video now, but yeah. um yeah, so you can watch the first season. It's out on uh, Prime Video, and then afterwards watch the second season, and you'll see. Because you uh, just put Amazon with Apple Plus in the same. Oh, like, you I'm just sorry, merged I don't know. Two you know companies. what? Also, Apple Plus. Have you guys watched Severance on Apple Plus? No, I heard that was good. That show is amazing that too. I heard that was good. I, don't get I wish I had time to watch stuff. You binge stuff all the time. Well, it's because when I, I'm home for a little bit, then I'll try to watch as much as I can. But yeah, as you far come as... in the next day, you got like bags under your eyes. I'm like, I stayed up all <laughs> yeah. night. I watched the whole season. I watched Ozark. I watched all one season, Bruh. three days. All one season, yeah, three days. Crazy. And, and, yeah, it's pretty good. And then Peaky Blinders, I'm so mad. They only released one episode. I thought they were going to do all of oh, them for the last season. You yeah, they slow rolled. Slow rolled you. Totally. Anyway, my, my, my safety blanket is The Office. I mean, I watched that. Uh, Oh, that's over the best. Again, One so, of the best I don't get comedies that show of either. all time. Very what? dry. I don't Bruh. get it, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm a simple person. Wait, if you watch that and you like that, you got to watch the... Did you see the local... It's uh, Waikiki PD? It's not the same, bro. No, it's the dry it. humor style. Bruh. You got to watch it. It's on okay. Amazon. I mean, it's. I'm yeah. not hating on Hawaii's Waikiki PD because it's great. One camera. <laughs> but it ain't... One a, camera. It ain't the and, it, and there's no uh, script. It's okay. Punk. So watch it's the second. I'm on the second season. Are you? There you go. Yeah, I'm on no, the, the second it. show. The sec you see second how that went? Sh show, yeah. Hater. You see it, Kurt? Hater. Not yet. Not yet. So it's kind of like, um, uh, Le what is the guy's name? Larry. He, uh, David? Larry David. He does his show. He's not on no Wiki PD. Yeah. No, what oh. I'm saying it's kind of like no script. <laughs> <laughs> they give you a subject and then you just go with yeah, it. Yeah, it's called improv. 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 Jesus. Improv. H crayon. Yes, I love improv. Anyway, Aiden, we're so proud of you. Boop. Thanks love for taking all. time to uh, be on the show. We love you, brother. Stop and uh, love you guys. Older. Send us the <laughs> say yeah, stop getting older. <laughs> send us the uh, schedule for your um, Matis Yahoo. So yeah, we can let will. everybody it's know five too. Dates. Everybody check it out. It's uh it's gonna be on uh it's going to be in Minneapolis, starts in Minneapolis and then we'll end in Cleveland. So what, what a great um, city watch to the start. wilds. Yeah. Watch the wild on Amazon prime prime yes. video. And where can they follow you? Hip. Aiden, tell everybody your handles again. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm just on Instagram, Twitter. I do have a Facebook, but I'm not really on Facebook. Cause he's not a grandma. Um, <laughs> I just think Facebook's filled with, you know, just people 
I don't know. Complaining. Easy, know. easy buddy. Um, easy. Uh, Instagram. <laughs> That's Brooke. Brooke's on Facebook every day. He's it's gonna a, get a concert on Facebook. Easy uh, buddy. Meta. No, I use Instagram quite a bit. Uh, Aiden Lepret. Just my Instagram. My Twitter is the same thing. Um, right and yeah, it, the, the dates are on my website, lepretmusic.com. Cool. So. Give mom and dad and your sister our Don't aloha, talk about them. and we'll talk to you soon. Will okay? do. <laughs> Aiden right. Lepret, ladies and gentlemen, go check him out. Thank you guys so much Bye, for watching. Aiden. Please hit the subscribe button, leave us a comment. Thank Boo. you for watching. It's a Hawaii thing. Ahui ho. It's a Hawaii thing. Whoa. It's a Hawaii thing.